All right, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, while Misa's sleeping, I want to do a review on the five things that I hate about his Honda Civic Type R. So, first we'll start with the back. I think the car looks great, okay? But from the back, it reminds me of a Prius. And I'm gonna put up a photo of the Civic without the wing next to a Prius and you guys will understand what I'm talking about. Um, the design of the tail lights and the way the body flows in the back, if you took out the arrow, um, the bottom arrow diffuser and then the wing, it would look like a Prius. I'm telling you, it is so ugly. I'll put up a picture now. Alright, second thing I hate, the three pipe exhaust. The middle part is a resonator, so when you get up to higher RPMs, some of the exhaust flows through the resonator, um, which is the middle pipe, the smaller one, and it's supposed to help with droning. So it makes the car really quiet. I hate the three exhaust pipes. It looks stupid. The car is not loud at all. It's just a horrible design. I think they should have came out with a single muffler on each side, um, making it two mufflers, and then take out the resonator and put one down the middle somewhere but they should have made it a little bit louder also. So I think it's ugly and doesn't sound good at all. All right, number three, the size of the wheels. They put 20 inch wheels on a Honda Civic. 20 inch wheels, my Hellcat has 20 inch wheels, okay? <laughs> that is horrible. Why would you put 20s on a Honda Civic? So that's number three. Number four would be the size of the tires, okay? So not only does it have 20 inch wheels, but look at the tires. Okay, these are Continental Sport Compact tires, all right? Just look how thin the sidewall is. That's a 245-30, the sidewall's a 30, okay? I mean, just look how thin that is. So it makes the ride super uncomfortable. Um, I've driven the car a few times now and I've also ridden in it with Misa a few times. The thinness of the sidewall makes for a super harsh ride and they try and make up for it with the suspension. The suspension's really dialed in, but every time you hit a bump, you just feel it instantly through the tires because there's no sidewall protection. So it does have this little sidewall that sticks out on the tire that protects the wheel from any curb rash, which is, any curb rash, which is nice. Um, but yeah, just the thinness of the tire and the size of the wheels, that's, that's terrible for me. That's number four, okay? Number five, I love the interior. I think the interior is great on this car, but they really lacked in the rear of the car. So the front gets nice red Type R sporty seats. The back, they just left it plain black regular seats in the back. So if you remember the Dodge Neon SRT4 when it came out, everyone's biggest complaint was that they spent all the money in the front of the car and they left the rear alone so if you remember the front had power windows and the rear had manual windows now that's not what they did here they didn't go that far um, which was really stupid of dodge to do that but if you see misa's car is kind of a mess right now but just plain black cloth seats and there, there's literally nothing back here it's two seats there's not even a center seat there's a cup holder um, there's no controls back here for heating, air conditioning, any of that. Um, you just have your window controls on the door, a little tweeter, and then these plain black cloth seats. But then, you look at the front, and you've got, obviously, all these controls um, for the heating and air conditioning through the touchscreen. Or, well, sorry, the heating and air conditioning is done here, and some of it's on the touchscreen and the push buttons. And then you've got these nice red sporty seats with the red seat belts. You do get the red seat belts in the back. Um, but I mean, you get this really nice comfortable seat, right? That hugs you. And in the back, you get shafted. So yeah, that's the fifth thing that I hate about this car. There's a few more other quirks that kinda, that I really don't like about the car. And they kinda get at me when I drive the car. Um, cause I have driven it a few times, like I said, and then I rode with Misa a few times, but those five things really stick out to me. Okay. So one, it looks like a Prius from the back. If it didn't have the spoiler and the rear diffuser Two, the three pipe exhaust system, it's horrible. It looks bad and it sounds horrible. It's when you start the car, it's got a nice little throaty idle to it. 
Um, but when you get on it, the car is super quiet. And I know why they did it. They didn't want any droning or things like that. But there's other ways to get rid of droning and buzzing sounds. Um, it's it's a performance car, okay? You should have made it louder. It's a Civic Type R. It's not a Civic. It's not a base model. It's not an SI. It's a Civic Type R. You should have made the car louder, okay? Number three, the size of the wheels. 20-inch wheels on a Honda Civic Type R, no. Bad idea. <laughs> it looks horrible. You don't need that big of a wheel. My Hellcat has 20-inch wheels on it, okay? And those are about the right size. I could even go smaller with those, especially if I'm going to be on the track a lot. Number four, the sidewall on the tire. It's a 30. You feel literally every bump. And like I said, the suspension kind of makes up for it. But you feel every pothole, every every crack in the pavement, it's horrible. Why would you put a 30 sidewall on a tire from the factory? I didn't even know they could do that from the factory because <laughs> it rides like shit. It makes it ride like shit when you hit bumps or cracks, things like that. Um, number five, like I said, I think they really lacked on the rear of the interior. The front is really nice. I think the front's really well put together. It's designed really nice. Um, it's pretty ergonomical with the seats the way they hug you, but the back, you just get plain black cloth seats. Like, they couldn't even match the front and do red? Come on now, really Civic? Really Honda? Really Honda? Couldn't match the front? And there's no controls back there either, so, not that, you may, not that you'll probably really be having that many people ride in the back, but for aesthetic purposes, you would think they would match the back or do something a little bit, a little bit nicer back there. So those are the five things I hate about the Honda Civic Type R 2017. I still think it's a great car. Those are just the top five things that really bother me. All right. And uh, Misa's about to wake up, so we should put his keys back. <laughs> Make sure you guys always comment, like, subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at BanV39. And feel free to add me on Facebook at David Van Force. We'll see you guys on the next one.